Welcome everybody, it's Wild West, and today marks my six months of stacking. It's my stack anniversary. So sit back and enjoy while we go through some of the cool things I've accumulated over the last six months. <laughs> Six months of stacking. Oh man, I mean, look at this. I have a silver pocket knife now that I never thought I would have. This is from the early 1700s. You can tell by the emboss marks right there. And these are called fruit knives. This is in order to get the seeds out. It's a seed pick. Great condition, a lot of detail. Man, I wish they had cool stuff like this around nowadays. You've also seen me show off some cool little knives like this Kershaw Launch 4. Great knife. It is Damascus steel. You can kind of see it there. And of course, right there, made in USA. All right, that's a fun little guy. Moving up a little bit, here's another made in USA called the Kershaw Launch 8. Great knife. USA made. Obviously, not legal everywhere, but out west, it's legal. And, of course, the John Wick. Everybody loves the John Wick. It is a full automatic out the front. It's a double-edged dagger style. Whew. It's a hot knife. Made in USA. There's a USA right there next to the M390 steel designation. And it does have a tungsten carbide glass breaker on the back. So, if you need to break, it, break any windows, you can do that. But here it is. The pride and joy. This is it, folks. This is the Kershaw Launch 7, made in USA. Look, it looks like an alligator to me. There's the eye, some teeth, the snout going down. Does anybody see that? All right, but well, this is called the Tim Galeon design. And this is the Wild West Stacker Edition. <laughs> yeah, isn't that cool? For only $15, you can get these customized on Blade HQ, made in USA. So I believe this one was about 130 shipped. It is a big knife uh, compared to the John Wick. Look at that. It's almost a four inch blade on it. I believe my smaller launch eight is a little closer. Oh man, but this thing is cool. It's really light. You can open and close it one handed. Automatic. And there's the Wild West Stacker. Isn't that cool? Now you can you can get different fonts in case you're interested. Um, I ordered a different version of a knife with a different font. We'll see how that one comes out soon. Obviously made in USA. And the Galeon is really nice because you can put your thumb right here. Or if you'd like to choke up, well, it's got like this indentation. You can really choke up and get into it. Great design, this Tim Galeon. He is under Ken Onion and Kershaw. It's where he... Basically trained, those are his masters, and man, he did a great job. Great knife, love it. We're leaving that one out the rest of the time now. All right, so what are we showing off today? The main thing here is this thing. This is my Goss stack, and for those that don't know, that means the giveaway stack, so everything in here is only things I have won, and we're adding to it all the time. Uh, one of my friends, Who's your stacker over in Indiana? I won one of his giveaways. I was seventh place. I mean, look at this guy. Seventh place, and I get two Merc Dimes, 46 quarter, and a 42 quarter. How great is that? What a cool dude. So that's going to go into my Goss stack. All right. Thank you so much again, Hoosier. That is awesome of you. And that is not it. Next up, I got a little yellow package in the mail. And it says, hey, Wild West Stacker, that was an awesome stream. Congrats on your win. I hope you like the ASE. See you in the chat. Sincerely, Philip the Board. And I won a Silver Eagle from Philip the Board. And it is a 1987. That will be my oldest ASE. Thanks so much. This was a win over on Mad Stacker's 250 giveaway. And that stream was crazy. There were probably over 100 ounces given away in that stream. Um, it was just nuts. And I was happy to win a full ounce, a Silver Eagle. That was awesome. 
Then on top of that, I got another box in the mail from my friend. Capital Currency. And if you watch his videos, you, you know that he makes these coasters by hand. Uses a stencil, paints it all by hand. And this is number 2 of 12. Isn't that cool? I think this is the one he actually showed in his video, too. Oh, I love custom stuff like that. That is so cool. Set over here. And he sent me a whole box of craziness. I mean, it really is crazy. Uh, let's see here. Let's just start off with... That looks like it's an ounce of silver. One Troy ounce fine silver. Yep. So it's a generic Morgan round. Okay, got this all organized, and what I want to show everybody now is this Gostak box, which is overflowing. I need a bigger box, and this is something I didn't quite think would happen, so we're going to just kind of go through this. <laughs> Look at this. This is all things I have won. It is crazy. So here's the things I just won from Cap and fill up the board. We're just going to leave them up here, kind of out of the way. Uh, one thing from Coin Crew I won. This is my very first Morgan and only Morgan right now. It is an S. There's a little tiny S right down there. 1878. Great condition. I took it out of a its big case just so I could fit it in my box. And that is a definite keeper. Won some copper and I this one was in there just because it had a silver plated silver dragons round. Remember this is a challenge round not actual silver just silver plated alloy so I'm gonna put those off to the side and keep those out from now on and I mean this is just getting nuts all this stuff here American Samoa back quarter W okay I'm gonna take that one out too there's a queen funnel web spider awesome Republic of Liberia. This is a three nines fine round. Actually, it's a coin, and it is 20 grams of three nines fine. Another one. This is a 92.5% coin out of England. Kind of cool. It has a three on there. Won that from an overseas friend. The Nui Owl. There's another full ounce. This I won from Silver Seeker. If you guys ever watch that coin roll hunting, full ounce there. I know this one came from Pirate, and I honestly am starting to forget where all the rest of these came from. But I know now that I am actually over 20 ounces of silver total just in my giveaway pile. Uh, some of these, like this, has a barber. That is Mad Stacker's handwriting. And that was one of his giveaways. Uh, this was from a Silver Husky auction. A couple of one tenthers. And then, let's see here. This is 80% Canadian Dimes from Pirate. That's one Troy ounce right there. Let's see here. We have some Benjis, some Walkers. Another Benji. Benji. Looks like those are all my 90%. Here's all the 40%ers. Oh, look, like another walker right there. There's a cool one gram Geiger from Silver Soldier of Fortune. Now, honestly, all these Merc dimes and quarters, I can't remember everybody. But most of them I remember I won from Silver Husky. He had two ounces worth that I won. All Merc Dimes. There we go. To kind of give you a show there. And then, one of the coolest pieces is this. That's that Cazador Shipwreck Silver from 1783. And on the other side, they sent me a hammered silver piece from the 1600s. My oldest silver, but it also Makes you realize, wow, silver used to be worth so much more. Look how tiny this is. And this piece is actually two silver coins melted together during the shipwreck. 
Isn't that crazy? So, over 20 ounces of silver right there. And it's only been six months. So this definitely shows it's worth it to participate in our cool underground club, the YouTube Silver Club. I'm kind of tired of calling it community because it's more of a club. And if you're part of the club, I mean, look at all these benefits you can get. You just get silver for free. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now I think I need to do a little giveaway because I'm at over 350 subscribers in six months. So let's just do this. Let's give away two gold backs and these are the Utah I don't care where you live so all you have to do is comment on this video something positive and on Monday I will make a drawing video and two people win a gold back and I'll send you one of my stickers too all right well that's fun set those down right there yep let's try one more Oh, it's so sharp. It's so awesome. Okay, and this one I ordered from Hero Bullion. It's just to pick up a couple 2021 ASCs. Start another stack of those. Um, tried something different with the ASCs. And I picked up these. Now let me warn you. If you drop one of these onto a tile floor from like something like a countertop, it will crack. See that? Oops. Oops. Oh, man. So, yeah. I'll probably end up taking it out of here. Just adding it to a tube. Uh, for now, I'm just keeping it in this plastic bag to keep the air out. So, yeah. You know, things happen. But I want to share that with everybody, too. Okay. Well, it's been fun, everybody. Don't forget, make a comment on my video. Don't care what you comment, just something positive and you'll be entered. And I'll do that drawing on Monday. So hopefully a couple of you will win a gold back. And only one winner per gold back. So you can't win two, but you can win one. So everybody, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed checking out all my awesome bismuth crystals that I'm making. The silver stacking is going great. It is not quite up to 500 ounces, but we're getting there. We'll get there one day. All right, everybody. This is Wild West. Everybody have a good one.